Hello, my name is Cassidy and today I'm on Northwestern University's campus. I just graduated from here this past June and I've been kind of reflecting on what my experience was and what kind of info or tidbits I'd pass along to someone who's interested in Northwestern, is in the middle of applying, or is about to start their freshman year soon. When kind of reflecting on what information or tidbits I'd kind of pass along to anyone thinking of applying, or that may be on the verge of starting their freshman year, the first thing I'd say is prepare yourself for Northwestern's hustle culture. It makes sense that at a prestigious university like Northwestern, there are a lot of perfectionists here. There is a lot of striving to achieve. It makes sense. But I think it can quickly become toxic. You know, Northwestern has this phrase and is in our DNA. Peer advisors repeat it over and over again during Wildcat Welcome. It's a big part of Northwestern's brand of students that do everything. They're academic, they're, you know, achieving professionally, they're volunteering. I think it's important to, if you're coming here, really think about what is most important to you. Prioritize both the clubs that you want to be a part of, and don't just say yes to everything because that will really throw you into a trap. I think what adds to kind of how difficult it is to prioritize your mental health and also limit how much work you're doing is Northwestern is on the quarter system, which if you don't know what the quarter system is, each set of classes lasts 12 weeks, whereas on the semester system, each set of classes lasts 16 weeks. And that four weeks difference doesn't seem like a lot, but you will quickly realize that classes here go very fast. Midterms come very quickly and it's hard to kind of keep up. You can easily fall behind on your homework. I think just while there's a lot of benefits to the quarter system, it can kind of add to the stress of going to Northwestern. If you're going here, really prioritize, kind of don't fall into the trap of achieving just to achieve. I had a lot of friends here who really spread themselves thin. They were part of every club. They were president of this, they were president of that. They were volunteering every day. And to keep up, they were pulling all-nighters. Some of them were doing Adderall. It was very toxic and very negative. And so I think while it is good to push yourself, really seek balance and don't let yourself fall into the trap of just doing things to say you did them. The second thing that I wanted to talk about was resources. So Northwestern tuition is really expensive. It's like $80,000 a year. So it makes sense to kind of expect an ample amount of resources here at Northwestern. I won't kind of like bore you with a full list, but I wanted to highlight three that really helped me during my time here at Northwestern and could help you too. So the first one I wanted to highlight is the Summer Undergraduate Research Grant, which basically Northwestern will give you $4,000 to research a subject of your interest over the summer. Personally, as someone who studied journalism while I was here, I really thought research was kind of left to the STEM majors, you know, only if you're into science can you really do research. But I learned that regardless of what major you're in, you can apply for a research grant. It's a very simple process. They kind of work with you throughout the whole proposal process as well. It really is a great opportunity to just explore what you're into, pursue an independent project, and get paid for it. So it's kind of the perfect thing. Another resource that I used heavily while I was here was NCA, which is the Northwestern Career Advancement. They help you with everything. If you need to do mock interviews for an internship interview you have coming up, you can go there. They review resumes, cover letters, 
And as I was a senior kind of embarking on my life after college, I used them so heavily. <laughs> they reviewed basically all of my resumes and cover letters for the jobs that I was applying to after college. And honestly, I don't know if I would have got my first job without their help. So I highly recommend if you need advice on anything career related, going to them. And the last resource I wanted to highlight was The Garage. It's basically an entrepreneurship center here at Northwestern. And if you're at all interested in starting your own business, starting your own project, I highly recommend checking them out. They have mentors that can kind of work with you on developing your ideas. They have funding opportunities. It's really just a great place to get your ideas off the ground. And I think especially as a student, it's super cool to be able to say that you were part of the entrepreneurship center, you created something on your own, and even got money for it. But that's three resources that I really swore by while I was here and really helped me throughout my Northwestern journey. And I just recommend you check them out too. So my third tip is just a quick financial tip. Essentially, if you want to save money because Northwestern is already hella expensive, I highly suggest living off campus as soon as you can, which at NU, it's junior year. Room and board here cost around $18,200 per year, which if you divide that up across the nine months that you're actually in school, that's like $2,000 a month for a square box. So instead of kind of trying to cram your whole life into a hundred square feet, I highly recommend you look for apartments off of campus. You'll get a space that's a lot bigger, you won't have to share a room with another person, and it's a lot less expensive. For example, I have five friends that while I was here, they shared an apartment and they only paid $900 per month for rent and for groceries. That's like less than half of what room and board cost here for a month. And so I highly suggest you do it if you're looking to save some money. My fourth tip is if you come to Northwestern, promise me you're going to leave the Northwestern bubble. Here, you'll quickly realize that a lot of the students that go here come from super privileged backgrounds, and there's a lot of common signs of wealth that you'll just see across campus. For example, Canada goose jackets are super popular in the wintertime, but if you Google that brand, they're like $1,000 per coat. And so that just kind of shows you where a lot of these students are coming from. So I highly recommend you kind of exit a mile radius of Northwestern and also just like explore and learn about Evanston. Northwestern is in Evanston, Illinois, but most specifically it's located in downtown Evanston, which is a super upper class, wealthy suburban area. And so you're not really getting exposed to a lot of cultures here, a lot of different people here. It is very like-minded, honestly. And I think it is very, easy to think of Evanston as kind of an idyllic area, an idyllic place. But if you really learn about the history of Evanston, there's a lot of redlining, segregation. So Evanston has a very dark history. You may or may not know this, but Evanston is actually the first city to have a reparations program, which I'll just say like, read about it, it's not that great of a program, but <laughs> I think the fact that Evanston has a reparations program is evidence enough that there's problems in this area. And so I just highly recommend you kind of do your research and just leave Evanston. Chicago is so close. If you take the L train, it's like a 45 minute ride to get downtown. And through going to Chicago, you'll be exposed to different cultures, different ways of living, different mindsets. 
And I think that's just so important for kind of being a complete human being because really Northwestern and being here and being busy and, you know, having a lot of responsibilities, it's so easy to think that like Northwestern is everything, like college and what you're doing here is everything. And there's a whole life outside of Northwestern. There's so many people that aren't represented here on campus. And so it's important to kind of get exposed as much as possible to people unlike you. The last tip, which is to do your research on dorms before moving here to Northwestern. My freshman year, I lived in Lincoln, which is kind of the brand spanking new dorm. It got built literally the year that I moved in. And everyone would ask me, like, how does it feel being in the nicest dorm? Like, that's so lucky that you're in the nicest dorm. And it was great. I had my own room because it was sweet, but there was zero programming. There was no social aspect to that dorm at all. And as a freshman who knew no one here and wanted to make friends, it was really hard to meet people that even lived in the suite next to me. While there were the like nice amenities and stuff like that, it was really hard to meet people and honestly made my experience not that great freshman year. And I I was kind of jealous of my friends that lived in the super social dorms because I just didn't have that. And so I think it's really important to really reflect on what you want in your dorm space. Is it important that you have your own room? Is it important that, you know, you have those hotel vibes? Or is it important that you have a social aspect? Is it important that it's on the side of campus where most of your classes are? I think really reflecting on what you want in your dorm and what's important for you living wise will really impact your years on campus. That is my last and final tip. And I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I had a lot of fun reflecting on what my Northwestern experience was and just tips I would give to someone else. So I hope you learned something and that this will just help you in your Northwestern experience.